Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I used this card with the stamp set and penned petals and I used this image here and obviously the infills. Uh, I think it was that one. The leaf and that, that flower, the smaller flower. Which I've got out already and this die which I've already done because it's too big to go my mini one for the card I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half I have two pieces of basic white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for inside and one for the top. Some scrap, and I've also got this, and that is from outside me scalloped contour dies. And I've used the second one in for this, and it's got it's cut out at the sides, so I've cut that out. I've also got a piece of ribbon. Now I don't know where this ribbon come from, it was in my drawer, and all I had is this piece. Well it was actually one piece and I cut it in half. That is all I've got. So I thought I'd use that because it goes quite well. And this, what I did, was thread this through. Not that you can see it anyway. that through there and it will sit on it like that so and I've also done the sentiment because it is a I did a bunch of them when I did got the heat and boss out that just needs cutting down which I will cut later this die is out of Another stamping up die, and I can't remember what die it was. I haven't got it with me. Um, I don't know. It's one of stamping up dies anyway. So that's already done. So all we've got to do is the um, decoration. So with my scrap, I'm going to do another flower because I will use it. So with the stamp and my Versafine and I can see I forgot a stamp which I will get in a minute. forgot my dot one and I should just stamp that down like that. cleaning cloth out all right and now we're going to color this in with the dyes so I want calypso coral now I found this calypso coral quite dark because the first time I've used this the new pad and I just think it's darker than what the old one was so I've got this one and we're going to place that in here. Now I need to remember it doesn't fit properly on the um, flower because it is supposed to be like painted. And then I've got the small flower which we're going to put in. Um, and I'll find out which way it goes. I think it's that way. I 
that's our clips of coral. Now we've got uh, old olive and the leaf, and we just fill these leaves in. Rather than change my stamp, with this one I just took the top off, the ink off the top of the stamp and filled that in. And that's our image done. And then you would get the die, whatever I've done with it. Like that. And then run that through your dye machine. Well, big shot in my case. And you will come out with this image. So what I'll do, cut that off and I'll use that another day. Or scrap. Right, need to get this piece, this is the top. And we're going to do our background and with our background I use the Plenty of Pattern Mars set and I use the one with four. Now last time I used this one, I think it was that one I used, it was. This time I'm going to use this one, that way. And all I did was place it on my card like that. And then I got two post-it notes. I learnt this after the second, first time I did it and I just covered up the rest of the patterns because we don't want the brush going into these. All we want to do is stencil this bit. So I've got my brush and my clips of coral move that move that card and with my brush and just brush over the stencil do. Only need to dip it once and then pull up the stencil and there we have it. That will get washed later. I've got a little bit there but that will be hidden by this go go over the top but first we've got to do some other stamping let me get the other stamp it must be on the table already it is was over the other end of the table. Right, got my dotage. I've got some soft sea foam. I'm 
what we're going to do is just dot round the edge like that. That's all. And that is our base done. And then we put this on here like that. But what we need to do is put some double sided tape on the back. Keep meaning to get a tape runner out the cupboard and I forget. off making sure it's straight going to do is put some glue on the back of this Card. So what we'll do is just stick it straight on the card before I put the flower on. Now we're going to use um, dimensional to pop this on that on there like that and then with our sentiment which we're going to cut down because we don't want it this long flag the ends as well, just need to take a little bit off this side. And that will go across there, like that. So we just need to add some dimensionals to that side as well. Right, this is what I did. I put one in the middle there. and one on the end. You 
making sure it's straight. There they are. All we've got to do is add some gems. Why is that not sticking? I know why, I never took the back and all. That's better. Let's do this as well. Put in my normal verse inside. Wishing you the most beautiful day. put it inside that card and glue this inside now this card has got a sticky out piece which I'm going to cut off There we are. Now we need some gems. I've got some pearls here which I'm going to stick three on. So I'm going to put one up there, one there and one down here. And I've also got, I think these are stamping up. I think Katie Freeman gave me these. Same ones. Oh, that's three little pearls and all. These are retired, I presume, because they've been in my box for so long. And it's been a while since we last saw Katie. They're just little gold gems. Got one stuck on my finger. There we are. Put the rest of them away. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.